Now, this brings us to a very important conclusion that regardless of the number of neutrons, the number of protons for an element will always remain the same. All atoms of an element will have the same number of protons and therefore uh, and at the atomic number is an intrinsic property of an element because all elements uh, when, when differentiated with each other all of them have different number of protons but every atom for one particular element will have the same number of protons so every carbon atom will have six protons regardless of the number of neutrons in the nucleus so um, that's why the atomic number for carbon remains six and carbon 12 13 and 14 tells us that uh, because we, we get these nucleon numbers because 6 plus 6 gives us 12, 6 plus 7 gives us, th gives us 13, and 6 plus 8 gives us 14. So th this is how we get the uh, nucleon number or relative atomic mass. So, to, uh, so when we represent an isotope, we write the atomic mass on top, which is the nucleon number. We write the nucleon number on top. And we write the proton number, which is the atomic num number on the bottom. So this is the uh, this is the this this is for carbon twelve, the isotope carbon twelve. For carbon thirteen, we write thirteen, and again six because it still has six protons. And for carbon fourteen, again this is still six because six protons. However, it has eight neutrons, so it has a different nucleon number. So because of the difference of neutrons, these are called isotopes and the difference of neutrons causes a difference in at relative atomic mass or nucleon number. And um, I want, so what I want to tell you about the isotopes of carbon is that carbon-12 is the most stable isotope of carbon and that's why it is the most abundant in nature. Carbon-14 is the least stable isotope of carbon and it is least abundant in nature and in fact it uh, it is radioactive, it decays, uh, it, so, so it, it undergoes radioactive decay and this is because as the, num as the difference between the number of protons and neutrons increases, the, the stability of the atom decreases. Now this is some extra knowledge, you won't need it for AS level chemistry and uh, I'm just telling this, uh, I'm just telling you about this for your interest so you don't really need to focus on this. But as the difference between the number of protons and neutrons increases, the, the stability of the atom decreases, of the isotope decreases. So, uh, for, uh, like, let's do another example. Chlorine has two isotopes, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. So, both will have 17 protons because the atomic number for chlorine is 17. However, chlorine 35 has 18 neutrons and chlorine 37 has 20 neutrons. So these are isotopes because they have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. And um, we can write chlorine 35 as Cl35 on top because that's the nucleon number and 17 on the bottom because that's the proton number or atomic number. And uh, for the Cl37 isotope, we write 37 on top because that's the nucleon number and we write 17 on the bottom because that's the proton number. So uh, we don't write P, we just write 17. Now uh, we, are, we are done with isotopes and let's do ions. So ions are atoms that attain a charge after gaining or losing electrons. So for example, this is a sodium atom. It has 11 protons and it has 11 electrons so it's neutral and this is a sodium ion it has lost an electron so it has a positive charge so this is this is a cation this is the sodium cation because positive ions are called cations negative ions are called anions so uh, we will do more about why these ions are formed when we do chemical bonding so don't worry about that but for now, all we need to know is that it forms the Na plus ion, sodium, and this has 11 protons. There is no change in the number of protons, but we have 10 electrons because one electron has been released from the atom. So 11 protons, 10 electrons. So the total positive charge is plus 11. The total negative charge is uh, minus 10. 
So when we add these two, get, these two together, we get plus 1. So that is the charge on the sodium ion, the relative charge on the sodium ion. Let's